In 2018, Kyle Edmund has been making his own big headlines, rising to British number one for the first time. A whirlwind experience that began in Australia. The key for Kyle was, of course, Brisbane. I'd actually got some confidence from playing Brisbane. I beat Chaplov and Chung and had a, a good match against Dimitrov there, so I was feeling good about my game. He's also got a little teaser that he can beat uh, Dimitrov. He was very close, a good match in Brisbane. You could see the difference from Kyle's confidence if you compare the match he played in, in Brisbane and then again came in in the quarterfinal against Dimitrov in, in Melbourne. The way he entered the court, the different, unbelievable. I was in the quarters or the semis, I was saying to the guys, while you're in the tournament, it can be a bit of a whirlwind at times because you look back and said, I could have been out in the fifth set there, but I found myself in the semis now. It was just one of them that matches were going quick and you're really in the zone that you just concentrate on playing. How he grew from, it's two weeks difference. Uh, and that is for a coach, of course, very nice to see. He go in there and really enjoy to be in the center court. So you can see when a guy's confidence grow. That is for a coach, very nice. Teamwork was a huge part of Kyle's success down under, but making the most of his talent has also meant embracing the challenge of life on tour, which doesn't always come naturally. It's about improving Kyle as a player and as a human being. To enjoy the ride, to enjoy working hard, to enjoy travel, having fun in the team. This is very, very important when you travel that much. It's one of those things that's easier to say than actually do, um, you know, especially myself. When I'm around the tournament, it's going to be quite serious, so it is tough to switch off. And the year is so full of tennis and tournaments that you don't actually have much time. It's a balance when you're not playing, you just want to rest and do nothing because you just don't want to tire yourself out, but just rest and doing nothing is no good. So I'll try and do stuff and take my mind off things. Like in Marrakesh last month, when Kyle was able to indulge his passion for motorsport with off-road quad biking, one of his personal highlights of the year so far. I don't get to do a lot of stuff with my team. I've got my trainer here and my coach. We just talk tennis all the time, and then we're at dinner, so actually to do something like this, is uh, it was good fun. I was too bothered about trying to go as quick as I can, really, but it's like frustrating when they stop and you're like, oh, we've got to keep going. At home, I own a motocross bike. In England, you have like something called Green Lanes, which is like the legal way of doing it, but in obviously in England, you, you haven't got this space and freedom to do it. It was really cool. I enjoyed it, it was a lot of fun. It's good to do something different apart from tennis. I actually really enjoy it, so yeah, it was, it was good for me. Enjoying his success and the chances it affords helped the Brit reach his first ATP World Tour final in Morocco. Now the hard-hitting Kyle Edmund must take the next step and turn his talent into titles. It would be good to try and get a win on him about in terms of a tour event, so I've got to you know, the business end of a few of them now in the semis of uh, a few 250s and a 500. So I guess it's making that next step to get in the final and then win it. A big goal of mine, continuing to improve my game. Physically as well, I still haven't reached my peak. So I'm trying to physically get up there as much as I can, learning from Australia and especially with the six best of five set matches. I never really set ranking goals but and it, it tends to take care of itself but it'd be nice to finish you know inside the top 20 that'd be a good year especially where I started around 50 this year. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, the Masters descend on Madrid. And Croatia's young star rising to the challenge we profile Borna Cioric. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you next week.